Ms. Potter will air on Channel 5 today, a biographical period drama starring Renee Zellweger as Peter Rabbit creator Beatrix Potter and Ewan McGregor as the timid publisher who falls for both the woman and her work. Mr. McGregor has enjoyed great success in his acting career, starring in classics such as Train Spotting and Star Wars. Away from the big screen, he isn't afraid to voice his opinion on a number of issues, especially politics. In June 2016, just a week after the referendum, Mr. McGregor criticized Mr. Johnson, branding him spineless. The former London mayor had just told a press conference, my role will be to give every possible support to the next conservative administration to make sure that we properly fulfill the mandate of the people that was delivered at the referendum and to champion the agenda that I believe in, to stick up for the forgotten people of this country. Mr. McGregor then tweeted, at Boris Johnson you spineless C. You lead this ludicrous campaign to leave EU. Win, and now F off to let someone else clear up your mess. Only five months later, Mr. McGregor was once again gunning for Mr. Johnson, accusing him of talking out of his A when it came to Brexit. The actor posted a link to Twitter where a leading European finance minister accused the then Foreign Secretary of offering an impossible vision of British life outside of the EU. Mr McGregor then added, Boris Johnson continues to talk out of his A, offering impossible Brexit vision. Hailing from Perth, Central Scotland. Mr. McGregor spoke about Scottish independence in September 2020, and referenced Brexit and Boris Johnson as major reasons why he felt Scotland would be better on its own. Speaking via video chat on the US talk show Real Time with Bill Maher, McGregor said, I was always for keeping with the union, I think it worked, it works. Then after the Brexit vote I think for sure I've changed my tune about it. I think Scotland has been voting for a government that they haven't been given for years. We're a very left voting country, Scotland, and we've been under conservative rule for years. He had previously spoken out against Scottish independence. But, in a 2016 interview, he claimed that the Brexit vote left him feeling totally confused. Speaking to Mr. Marr, he recalled the moment he saw which areas had voted remain and leave. He said, I thought that's it, you know. The Scottish people want to stay in the European Union and the English don't. So I just think, I think probably it's time. I think once Boris became Prime Minister, Scotland was like, right that's it, we're effing out of here. In 2017, Mr McGregor was at the heart of another social media storm when he refused to turn up on Good Morning Britain because Piers Morgan was hosting. Mr Morgan had just criticised the Women's March for showing the more repellent side of feminism, the vile crude, man-hating, violent, nasty side. Mr McGregor tweeted, was going on Good Morning Britain, didn't realize that Piers Morgan was host. Want go on with him after his comments about hashtag women's march. In response, the journalist hit back, sorry to hear that at McGregor underscore you and, you should be big enough to allow people different political opinions. You're just an actor after all. On the show he added, sorry that you and McGregor's not here. He couldn't bear the thought of being on the sofa with me because he doesn't agree with me about the women's march. I have to agree with what an actor thinks about a particular issue because they're actors. And as we know actors views are more important than anybody else's, 